Good morning, Alafia. Um, I forgot to tell you guys why I showed my breast. I showed my breast because I was talking to my ex and he was saying my video was too long. You know, the one that was like for 30 minutes. And he said, for men, I need to have a visual or some type of clickbait. And I'm like, what best clickbait other than breast <laughs> this will work you know but i hope that i'm still in good standing with him because i'm doing what the man want this is what the man want even the babalawo was like you know what men want you know what men want and i'm like yeah but if i tell men no they try to sneak and connive in order to change my mind that's wrong and so he agreed with me if you tell somebody, no, I'm being celibate, I'm doing my thing, they're supposed to stay away and respect it, you know. But that's not usually what happens. Um, so let me do my little reaction. Um, I end up asking my, and first of all, my sons, they don't want me asking nobody for no money because they're like, you're not poor, don't be doing that, you know, but... I'm like, yeah, I'm poor. Why not be poor? Ain't nothing wrong with being fucking poor. And um, so he said that I needed clickbait and show a visual of my breast. I mean, no, he didn't say show my breast, but he said I needed something to get men's uh, attention. So I asked my kid's father for the money at first, and he used to be engaged to a friend of mine who passed away and me and my kid's father haven't been together for years we barely see each other he doesn't use the internet and you know he's one of those type of guys you know we're we're not close but I asked him about the money and he's like no I don't have it right now matter of fact you need to check the child support and see where that money I've been sending you for the child support go and that right there is the bank account that's locked up that I don't have access to. And when I asked my brother-in-law for the money when I was upset and crying, I was mad because nobody would give me the money or give me a ride and do like I needed. I was like, well, he give me the money. He was like, what? Like, huh? You know <laughs> It wouldn't even say anything. So it's like, oh, how dare you just ask me for money? So they might give us security, but they ain't just going to give us their money. And then who else did I ask? And then my ex, after him and I had a full conversation about uh, why he didn't give me the money, you know, because everybody was asking him for the money and... He's like, I apologize to him. And he's like, I accept your apology. <laughs> now, I don't know if they were saying it like mean, but that's what they said it like. So we're clear we can't get men's money. And if the men want to give us the money, they need to be looking at something like this, regardless of what's going on. Now, I don't mind showing my breast. I would get plenty of breasts to show you if you did the right shit. But patriarchy is very bad because if it was good, we wouldn't have homeless women and homeless kids running around here. So we're going to get them men who can't read the wop, wop, wop. And we're going to get them women security, right? Right? So we got the ladies who we got a commonality where your parents, the, the homeless ones that I was meeting in low country, their parents didn't want them on the internet and they sheltered them in a way that was not good. So we're going to get these women security and us that us women who are flexible, who can get with this program. We just want the men to help us, and we can give them the breast and the wop, wop, wop. And I, you know what, let me go back to that video when Kwame was talking to the, about that woman who disrespected him. I like the way he just kind of sent her off instead of 
being like, look, you little bitch, <laughs> get out my damn business. Because those women don't want to be in man business. I'm only in man business right now because I feel like you guys have more resources that you guys can help women with because everybody is doing something for the community that I see in the individual way of who cares. And so bringing your resources together, balancing it out, giving what you can and being nice. When you help a woman, you help a nation. You breastfeed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, I'm not. You breastfeed a nation. So us that's working hard, becoming midwives, volunteering to fucking death, y'all men need to pay attention to us and don't give us the same treatment that y'all Twitter twerker <laughs> give. Recognize the difference. And... I hope you enjoyed Sephra's Press.